this focus is just like that. Pretty dang quick. It's awesome. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold. You might need a sweater too. I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California. Trying to make it in life, a school that never taught ya. Dreams of my own, I've been working from home. I can do it on my own, but sometimes it gets cold. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is gonna be another cheat meal. But this one's gonna be fun because uh, I was on Uber Eats and I saw this new ghost kitchen. It's a ghost kitchen. Uh, I know it's a ghost kitchen because the address is the same as Mr. Beast and it's the same as Buca de Beppo. So, and I know Buca de Beppo to be there for the longest time. So it's obviously a ghost kitchen. But the cool thing about this ghost kitchen is that it's Guy Fieri's ghost kitchen. It's called Flavor Town Kitchen. So. I'm gonna try it out. They have a Cuban sandwich, so that's what I picked to try out uh, since I just done a Cuban sandwich. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll bloop that up right here um, so you can go check that video out. But now we're gonna be trying out Guy Fieri's Flavor Town Kitchen. Thank you, miss. And here it is. That was pretty quick, right? Uber Eats is pretty quick. So, first of all, that's a nice, pretty, cool box that he's got there 1968 is that when he was born or something it's got 1968 on there I don't know what that reference this is maybe that's when he was born I don't know Flavor Town USA all their socials in there so you can see that it's kind of dark so yeah it's a pretty cool box all right I'm gonna open this one up oh nice so this one uh, let me see here is called the Crazy Cuban Sandwich. Smoked pork, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, mustard, donkey sauce. I don't know what that is. Um, pressed hoagie, crispy potato sticks. I remember these potato sticks when I was a kid. Uh, I used to love these. It's got a whole bunch of them in there. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be awesome. So here it is, pull this out. Nice hefty sandwich. Me and Charmaine are gonna share this. I'm gonna try this out. Oh, it's already cut in half, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That looks yummy. So let me give Charmaine her half. Oh, I'm gonna grab a plate here. Put this one in. And then I'm gonna grab some of these fries or potato sticks. And give this to Shermaine over here. Grab a drink. Zero sugar cherry seven up guys. The usual. Well, I go from that to the regular, not regular, but the regular seven up. The sugar, zero sugar seven up. There it is, guys. Oh, that looks really good. That looks really good. I just love how that thing is now focusing on that. I had such a hard time before uh, focusing on things, but now it just focuses just like that. Pretty dang quick. It's awesome. So here it is, guys. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. Now that, now that, no, I think it's better than mine because it's got that smoked, smoked, um, smoked pork in there. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. so good. Mm. I'm interested in what that donkey sauce is though. I mean, I can taste mustard, the mayonnaise. I can taste mustard, but, and I know there's like another sauce in there. I can't really pinpoint it, but I know there is, I can see it. It kind of mixes with the cheese, so. I think that's the donkey sauce. 
I think that white sauce that's in here is a donkey sauce. But it's mixed in with the cheese. And so, you can't. The bread is mm. the bread you Yeah, the bread is really good. Mm. I like the pickle I used on mine better. These are just like, you know, regular like sliced pickles. I had a long um, uh, stacker ones, pickles. They're nice because they filled the whole, the whole sandwich. Mm. I love these things, dude. Was it planters that had these? That's what it's called? Mm -hmm. P-A-K-N-I-K Let's yeah. mm. snack on these for This is a good, good sandwich. Now for this Cuban sandwich, I believe it's $9.99 for this sandwich. Not as cheap as Porto, but still delicious. That was, oh man, that was good. All right guys, well that's gonna do it. That was awesome. That was really delicious. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend the Cuban sandwich uh, from uh, Guy Fieri's Flavor Town Kitchen. Cause that one did bring me to Flavor Town because that was really, really good. That sandwich is amazing. Uh, so yeah, if you go on Uber Eats and see them, definitely go try them out. Uh, let me know how you, how the other ones are. I've just tried this one, the Cuban one, and this so far is delicious. Uh, so let me know what you guys, if you guys try it out, let me know what you guys think of the other stuff that they have on the menu. Uh, I just wanted to try something new and you know, so I grabbed this. All right guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, peace. Guys, I totally forgot about dessert. We found this ice cream at Target and I was like, it's a protein ice cream. And we saw it and we're like, dude, we gotta try it. We wanted the coffee one, but the coffee one is out. So we got this mini donut one. See that guys? Mini donut. And it has 350 calories per pint. So this little pint right here is 350 calories. It's got 20 grams of protein. Uh, let's see, and 18 grams of sugar for the whole pint. 64 grams of carbs. Well, you know, it's gonna have, it's gonna have the carbs. So the numbers aren't that bad for this little guy right here. So I'm super excited to try this. And I mean, I wish we had the coffee one because I like coffee ice cream, and but they didn't have any. So this is the next best thing because it's a mini donut. So we're gonna try this out. Ooh, and it's got like donut chunks in there, like, I think. Now Halo Top is, you know, as you know, is like, the ice cream to get for protein and stuff, but I don't really like it too much. I don't like the consistency of it. It's not ice cream. This one so far looks like ice cream and acts like ice cream. So I'm super excited to try this. Let's check it out. All right, first bite, guys. It looks like I do have like a chunk of, like, I don't know if there's donut chunks in there. Mmm. See now that it tastes like ice cream, like regular ice cream. Usually these protein ones, like again, like Halo Top, they have this weird can, um, texture. Mmm. This one's like nice and creamy. It's like you wouldn't be able to tell that this was like a protein ice cream. Mmm. Okay. Flavor is good. 
the flavor um, like the chunks of uh, donuts it's like a um it's like a sh cinnamon sugar Ooh. covered donut and you can taste the cinnamon and a little bit of sugar Ooh. it is really good that is amazing it's a little on the pricey side it was like three three sixty nine three ninety nine for that little pint but for the amount of protein that's in there you know if you want something like that well, then it's low calories only 350 calories for that pint definitely get that i would pick that over the other stuff but it is really good and there's like chunks of of donut i guess in there it looks like it tastes like it so i guess there's chunks of donut mm. yeah see and cinnamon reduced fat ice cream of oh, fat ice cream I don't know. Oh, it's, the way they have it written is just weird, but it's cinnamon reduced fat ice cream with donut pieces. It's just that they have cinnamon reduced on one line. It's just a graphic design error there. Um, yeah, so there is donut pieces in there. And it's really good. So, if you're at Target, go in the ice cream section, look for the Archer, Farm, Archer Farms protein ice creams. They have regular ones, the regular um, Archer Farms ice creams, but they also have protein ones. Uh, so you gotta look for those ones and try it out. Uh, I can't wait to, we can't wait to get the coffee one. We're gonna go back and see, you know, check periodically, see if they stock up on the coffee one and then we'll grab that one. But this one, I mean, it tastes like ice cream like texture and everything melts like ice cream mm. i'll put the other ones uh, they have this weird texture and it's just like kind of dry for an ice cream it doesn't really melt like an ice cream this one though it's like eating ice cream mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're going to enjoy this because this is really good. But yeah, all right, guys, see you.